my name is Caitlin Davies Plummer. Um, my business name is Dustin Collar Art, that's what I go by on Instagram. I've always been like a super creative person, like ever since I was little I've always done music and sung and my brain's always been creative but it wasn't until I was a little bit older and I felt like I had enough knowledge to start doing painting because I didn't, I grew up quite disconnected from culture so I never wanted to start painting before I understood the meanings behind what I was actually painting. I grew up in a really, really big footy family, always been around like cousins and extended family playing footy. So for me to have the chance to see my culture and my designs on a footy oval um, is insane. Like I said, I don't think it will sink in until I actually see them run out on Saturday and I think I'll probably cry. Um, but yeah, I'm just excited and just thankful um, that I've been given the platform of South to be able to do that. And it's, yeah, it's a real honor and humbling to be able to have that opportunity as well. I think as soon as I knew that I was gonna do the jumper, the word journey just kind of popped into my head. And I think reconciliation at the heart of it is a never ending journey. Like it's not, there's no end point. There's no like, once we get here, then we're done. We don't have to reconcile anymore. It doesn't really work like that. So. I think Indigenous Round in the AFL and SANFL is a perfect platform to share a message and I think it's important um, for teams to be able to have the chance to do that. Once I had that central journey line, then I started to think about everyone else outside the football club that's not just the, the boys and the coaches. Um, I was thinking about the families and the fans and the community in general and how to tie them into the painting as well. So I kind of started small and then my brain like exploded and I went bigger and bigger. And I also wanted at the heart of it for all First Nations people, whether that be Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander people, to feel like they were being represented in the jumper as well. So I wanted the ocean, but I wanted the bush and I wanted mountains and I wanted different elements of country that paid respect to the different connections that Aboriginal people can have. Um, so there's mountains that represent physical mountains, but there's also mountains that come off of the actual journey line. Um, and those mountains represent overcoming struggles and whether that's COVID or any of the personal struggles that the team goes through is joining together and supporting each other to get over that for that ultimate goal. There's different elements of the ocean represented and tidal patterns of waves coming in and out. I thought that was really important being where the club is um, and where a lot of the players would be living is near the ocean. But then when you think about Torres Strait Islander people or Aboriginal language groups that are on the ocean, they have such a spe special connection with the ocean and the animals in the ocean. So I wanted that to be represented. And then there's different elements of the bush desert shrubs on there um, and then there's two special stars um, that are on there that, that came to my mind pretty much straight away when I knew that I was doing the Guernsey. Um, stars for me are the ancestors or people that have passed away that aren't physically with us anymore but they're still watching over us. Um, so one of the stars is Hayden Sampson's little cousin um, who passed away when she was really young and I wanted that on there to show that her energy is still with him and the whole family. Um, and then the other star is for um, a beautiful man called Corey. Um, and he lost his battle with MND um, a couple of years ago, but he was South's number one fan. And as soon as I knew I was doing this Guernsey, I was like, I can't not have him on there. Um, and I know that he's gonna be with the boys on Saturday and he's just gonna be so chuffed. It's honoring country, it's honoring community, it's honoring the land where this um, oval and where the boys train but it's also honouring the special people that can't be here anymore and knowing that ancestors are always watching us whether they're physically here or not so that was super important to have and I think the core image of the three Indigenous players in the corner um, that represents I guess where South is at the moment with their three current um, league players and then the rest of the people around that are the team and the community and everyone else that's supporting them and rising up with them um, against things like racism and just all the crap that First Nations people have to fight through. It's nice to know you've got a whole footy club behind you supporting you on that journey. So that's why that's at the start of the journey as well.